And as the years have progressed, getting my life together has looked very different at one point in my life. Uh, I associate getting my life together with, you know, getting married and settling down. And I tried that. And then, you know, now we're right now, we're at a pivotal point where getting my life together looks like something completely different. And we're exploring that. And now... Uh, just woke up off of a nap what could have been a 12-hour nap but i didn't even like i woke up and that was it it was over and i was hoping i'd take a 12-hour nap mainly because yesterday evening i had class and so i had to cut the sleep short but i feel completely fine and like i think my body is just used to sleeping in whatever time i get and making it work and so i guess i just did that so now i'm gonna go in the front go over a plotting sheet that I had put in and um you know see if I want to make any changes to it I'm gonna take up the um blankets that we use to sleep with. and um put those back and everything and like I said go over the sheets and get myself together to start the last half of the shift um in the morning here so um that's where we're at I also made a meal appointment earlier for tomorrow morning which is saturday morning because i'm off this weekend and um yeah i'm gonna see how that goes i'm gonna wait and see if she will confirm or not because she said that typically she doesn't do anybody that early but um i'm gonna see what she says but i'm yeah, about to go back out and everything i'm rested i feel good I'm ready to finish the day tonight will be my eighth shift I never want. I feel like that's why I probably feel so tired. Um. Hello, everyone. I'm fresh out of a nap. Me and I we slept for three hours, which was amazing. I always find that when we go to bed and I'm holding her, like we're co-sleeping, she sleeps a lot better because sometimes when she like starts waking up i could continue patting her and she'll go back to sleep and i absolutely love that for us especially on days like today today is gonna be my first day of um classes and i don't know if i'm excited or nervous honestly i feel kind of neutral you know neither excited nor nervous because this wouldn't be my first time being in a classroom setting especially as an adult but you know this time it's a little bit more different and this year i'm dedicated to you know, focusing and um, being intentional about getting my life together. And as the years have progressed, getting my life together has looked very different at one point in my life. Uh, I associate getting my life together with, you know, getting married and settling down. And I tried that. And then, you know, now we're here. Anyways, um, right now, we're at a pivotal point where getting my life together looks like something completely different. And we're exploring that. And, um... I guess I'll take you guys along with me to see what that looks like. But um, yeah, so I have a class in another, I'd say another hour and 15 minutes. Would we be able to squeeze another nap in there? I don't know. But um, so far, typically because my classes are going to be on Thursdays, I've tried requesting to get a Thursday off. But the way how the schedule is set up to prevent myself from being completely burnt out, I have to take a Thursday off and then a different day in the following week. And that's okay we're gonna just make it work and you know that be what it is um last night there was a new sheet at work to plot and i already plotted roughly but i think i'm gonna go back in and like reevaluate it hey siri hey siri girl answer hey siri remind me at 10 50 p.m to go back over the Hi. schedule at work for plotting so because my class is in another hour and 45 minutes they have sent over some resources and i was going through and watching like one of the videos and basically started on one of the things that we're gonna have to do within like the next week or so 
so I'm ahead of time and I'm, I'm you know I really do want my past productive self to thank me here and I really want to be intentional about completing things on time and not like rushing at like 11 59 p.m or whatever to submit anything so that is where we're at when it comes to that because um this semester I'm not that busy because it is my first semester I just chose one class but come next semester I'm gonna have two classes so um, I think I'm gonna have to learn from now time management, but I feel like overall in general in my life I do really well with time management. I'm not exactly a procrastinator when I commit to something I get it done And so that should work out for me. So I'm really banking on that But on the out we're here. I came home from work this morning and we I jumped into making breakfast initially I didn't know what I was gonna make because I, I find that with kids and I've always noticed that, especially with my older daughter, you can't give them the same thing too many days or they're tired of it. So uh, this morning I had to figure out what else I could make for Mia that she wouldn't be tired of and that she would actually enjoy. And so I ended up deciding on some cornmeal porridge. Because while I've given that to her before and she seemed to like it, it's been a while since I have given it to her. So I'm like, that is going to be like something new for her all over again. And I gave that to her and she did really well with that. Uh, after which, you know, we just, I showered and we went inside of the bedroom, played for a little bit, you know, got all my things together for my class and like put it at the foot of my bed and everything and basically went to sleep so that I could catch some sleep before my class starts because my class is going to go up to the point where I'm going to need to start getting myself together for work. I need to text her on today and tell her to come at like 9.40 or 10 o'clock. I could I could say 10 o'clock because my friend doesn't get here until 10 o'clock to be completely honest so I could definitely tell her 10 o'clock and that would give me enough time to probably sleep for like another hour but I don't think I'm, I'm probably gonna be able to do that because I'm gonna have to shower her and you know get her entire nighttime routine started and everything because I don't want to compromise on that so by the time I'm done with my class at 8 40 I'm probably gonna have to jump into her nighttime routine because at that point I would have already started it so Thursdays are gonna be a little sticky for me with a lot of things so that's probably gonna be the lazy night in terms of her nighttime routine uh or i'm gonna have to try and get every single thursday off so i don't really know yet what we're gonna see what's probably gonna have to happen is that i'm gonna have to work a stretch of either four or five days in between getting the thursday off one of the weeks but whatever it is we'll make it work so um that is where we're at. So we have the porridge for breakfast right now. It is 4.48 p.m. And I just had some more of the porridge. I just gave her a bottle. And I have some um, some period hair thawing for her that I that I put out this morning. Because I prepared them into these little containers. Poured them out of the plastic containers that they came in. And put them into these reusable silicone containers. So that when I'm ready, I could just grab one of these and it's ready to go. So I'm going to give that to her in a second here. I don't know if she's going to sleep by the time my class starts. I don't know if we're going to try and get like another hour before my class starts because um, that's really what I would be getting because I want to wake up at like um, 5.45 and like get my stuff together for the class. I have an alarm that is going to go off every Thursday at 5.45 p.m. But also I already went through and got everything together, went on um, Blackboard to like see how that works and everything and so far so good. And like I said, I've already um, gone through what is supposed to be the discussion today. So um, yeah kind of already have an idea of like where we're at so yeah that's what we have going on i already have food in the fridge thank god i went through and i cooked something so i have food in the fridge ready to go you know i'm gonna give mimi oh today she's probably not gonna get a lot of play time between this week i mean this morning i had her down on the mat and that was great but between struggling to get some sleep in the morning and like right now um i don't really know I don't really know how the sleep is going to be looking. There's going to be this susu at my job. And while I feel like it's amazing because, and I think I always say this, my mom has always been in susus for as long as I can remember while we were growing up. And so I've always liked them. But that one is so freaking long. Right now is the beginning of the year. And that one would end in October of 2025. That is a big commitment to make. And so even though I already agreed, it doesn't start yet. So I think I'm going to hit the girl up and let her know, hey, after going over my finances and everything, I do not think that I can commit to that at the moment. And that's mainly because of the length of it. I don't have any issues committing to stuff, but I feel like that's very long to commit to. Also, I'm brand new in it, which means I'm probably not going to be one of the first persons to get a draw. And right now I'm in the process of like 
balancing out all of my stuff financially, you know? And so, I don't really know. I'm probably going to have to text her and tell her that was just such a bummer. But, you know, it is what it is. If you already know that you're in a particular situation as it is, there's no point in putting yourself in a position that's going to make your life a little bit more difficult later on. Because what I don't want is to uh, not have it one week because I have to shake things around. No. And even if I don't have it one week, I'm going to have it the following week. But I'm also wondering, is that a commitment that I should try and make? I already have enough things that I'm committing to, but that's so long. The length of it is killing me. Anyways, gotta go. I'm gonna go chat with the girls. Probably not gonna get no sleep. Jules is killing me. Okay, guys, bye. Hello, you guys. Me and I had a really productive day today. So it was not my day off. But as you guys know, I like to run my errands. I will literally pack one of my days that I have to work with errands so that on my day off, I have nothing to do. I'm off this weekend. I do have plans to... You know, meet up with one of my friends and have lunch or something. I'm not even really sure. These plans are very loose. Nothing set in stone. But um, today was very productive because today I ended up going and getting my nails repaired. I ended up soaking off the old set that was on there. Um, rubbing mine down a little bit and getting them redone. And this is what they look like. Almond French tips and this one is like a different color. Pink French. And it has like a little heart on there. Same thing on the other hand. Very cute. I also got my toes done. But I didn't get a pedicure. I just got my toes polished. Because my friend who's been doing my nails. She does not do pedicure. She just polishes your toes. So. She polished my toes. And it's polished in like French dips. And um, I'm going to just rub them off in the bathroom. Like with the little scrubbing thing. Because I do have that. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Actually let me take one out and put it in the bathroom. I have this little brick that I use to um, rub it down. Obviously, one side is more coarse and one side is to like smooth it out. Afterwards, I was just talking to my older daughter on FaceTime. Anyways, so I'm going to put this in the bathroom so I can use this tomorrow. But um, I got my nails done and I love it. But we ended up being on the road for like four hours or so. I really do not enjoy soaking my nails off because the process is just a little bit tedious. You have to sit there and keep it in the bowl, yada, yada, yada. Honestly, when I used to go to the Chinese, they would soak it for a little bit and then the rest of it, they would sand it off with the um, electric drill. I don't know that that's the healthiest way to do it, but that's how they used to do it. And there's one thing about them, they were quick with it too. So I did really like that process. Anyways, we came home and because we came home at like 5 p.m., I showered, I wiped Mia down and put her in her jammies from early and we went to sleep because I'm like, I'm not going to have a lot of time and I wanted to sleep until 9.30. Anyways, we're up before 9.30. Her aunt watches her tonight. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put this in the bathroom. I, right now I'm trying to um, feed her some stuff, so I'm giving her her puree right here and then I'm going to add, I've already given her an ounce and then I'm going to add some oatmeal to it to give her a little bit of substance or I could put some rice cereal in there to be honest to give her a little bit of substance I have my food here that I'm gonna warm but also we've already gotten through the bath time so all we need to do is just get it together really eat something and then we're really ready for the night for her aunt to come here but I really do love my nails and I love that they're so short it's like all the even you guys know that when I used to do tips after I think two repairs or so I, t I soaked them off. So this was after to repair. The first time I waited four weeks and this time I waited two weeks or six weeks and then, you know, soak it off, cut it down. But this time, I don't know that I'm going to go through and, and um, soak it off too much because the process kills me or I'm probably going to just soak it off at home when I know that I'm going to go and get my nails done. I don't really know. That way I don't have to be there for so long doing all of that because I really like being in and out. Anyways, I'm going to wash two little dishes that I left in the sink, put away the plates and the drainer on there because I don't like when the drainer is full and then, you know, feed Mimi and stuff like that. So I'll see you guys later.